Take a listen to our cut 43. This is Megan Bragg, WCNC. This is the article that has been circulating on social media. It claims that there has been an arrest in the Shanquilla Robinson case, but we wanted to walk you through the article because there are some red flags here. When someone reports and shares claims that are not verified, this is how misinformation spreads. First, the headline suggests Dehan Jackson was arrested in the United States. As of now, Mexican authorities have not publicly even named a suspect. They have issued arrest warrants, but haven't said who the warrants are for. Okay, straight back to Joe Bruno joining us from WSOC. I heard the rumors and my, my cell phone blew up that there had been an arrest in Shanquilla Robinson's homicide. Then quickly I learned that wasn't true. What do we know about any arrests or arrest warrants which would come out of Mexico? Right, uh, and I've talked to the FBI, U.S. Marshals, as well as the State Attorney General's office in Mexico all tell me they do not have any information about an arrest being made. However, it is confirmed that an arrest warrant has been issued by the state attorney general in Baja California store where Cabo is. But like that report said, they have not identified the person by name. They have just said this is for the direct attacker uh, in this instance. Yeah, I'm looking at that. A a, a prosecutor for Baja California Sur states that A friend of Robinson's, quote, who is the direct aggressor, which I take to mean the woman beating her in the head in the video, is being sought by international authorities on charges of femicide. Charges of femicide. Now, femicide, to my understanding, in Mexico is the way they describe the murder of a a female What is that, Joe Bruno? Certainly. A femicide is basically when a a female is murdered. They look at whether she was killed for reasons due to her gender or perhaps it was due to domestic violence. Exactly. Oftentimes when a woman is killed in Mexico, the case starts as femicide. And once they investigate, if they determine those aren't the factors, uh, then it gets recategorized to a homicide. So it's essentially a type of homicide investigation by local authorities. Take a listen to Erica 46 from Newsy. Mexican prosecutors have said the suspect is an American and the charges are femicide. Mexican prosecutors said in a statement, Robinson's death was the result of a, quote, direct attack, not an accident. Mexican law enforcement has requested the suspect be extradited back across the border so she can face charges. That would require U.S. authorities to hand over an American citizen to a foreign government. 